Hi, I'm Thea Gurken with Peghead Nation, and today I'm here with a Loudon O35 that's built with Madagascar rosewood back and sides and a cedar top. Um, now, in the history of Loudon guitars, uh, the O size uh, takes on a significant role in that it was the original Loudon that Luthier George Loudon uh, designed when he first started building guitars in the uh, 1970s. And even though the line has expanded to several other body sizes, uh, this O size, which is their largest uh, guitar, is still a favorite for a lot of uh, Loudon players and uh, guitarists in general. Uh, this particular one uh, is uh, quite a special one. Uh, built with beautiful materials and uh, just one of the richest O-size Loudons that I've ever come across. As I mentioned, uh, it's built with Madagascar rosewood back and sides and really quite a spectacular set on this particular instrument. Uh, Madagascar rosewood uh, is often uh, compared very favorably to Brazilian rosewood in terms of uh, both its appearance and its uh, tonal qualities. And uh, in this case, the guitar is matched with a beautiful cedar top. And uh, cedar tops are something that uh, Loudon really pioneered in steel string guitars. Uh, they used to be uh, primarily used in classical instruments um, and uh, today you see them on a lot of steel strings but back in the 1970s when Loudon uh, first started uh, using them on his instruments uh, they were a rarity on steel string guitars and Loudon has um, continued to use them on many of his models. The guitar also has the uh, Loudon typical pinless bridge and um, not only uh, are the strings fed in through the back um, instead of using bridge pins, it also has the two-piece saddle um, that is uh, part of the Loudon design. And what that does is that the first and second string uh, go over one saddle and the uh, four bass strings go over another one, uh, which uh, creates greater compensation for the second string, which can often be problematic unless you use a very wide saddle. So that's a typical design uh, that, uh, that most Loudons have. Another important aspect to uh, the Loudon design is the multi-piece neck. In this case, a five-piece design uh, that is uh, uh, three pieces of mahogany uh, with two reinforcement strips uh, in the center of it. The guitar uses an ebony fingerboard, and as is the case with many Loudon guitars, it has a very clean design. There's no uh, inlay on the front of the fingerboard, no position markers. The only position markers are on the guitar's side, and um, that is another element that uh, kind of reflects George's uh, experience with classical guitars, which of course would have a similar look. Coming back to the bridge for just a moment, the bridge on this guitar is rosewood, and uh, once again, a lot of Loudons use uh, rosewood bridges with ebony fingerboards, and that is something, once again, that you don't see so much on steel string guitars, uh, but it's very common in the classical world, and uh, also, again, uh, reflects kind of the uh, tradition in Loudon guitars. It's a little different from your typical um, classic American steel string guitar. Ebony is also used for the peghead overlay on the guitar, both on the front and the back. And uh, it's quite beautiful how the ebony um, follows the volute uh, that's behind the nut on the back. Uh, you'll also see that there is a set of golden Goto 510 tuners on the guitar with black buttons. And overall, um, the guitar has a very clean appearance. I mentioned there's no fingerboard inlay. And they really, other than the uh, abalone rosette, beautiful single um, uh, ring of abalone around here. The guitar really highlights the quality of the materials and the beauty of the woods all around. You can see how tight grained the cedar is. It's also beautifully evenly colored. Uh, we already looked at the Madagascar rosewood, but it's, it's worth another look because it really does um, add this uh, incredible elegance to the instrument, with, especially on the side. So you can almost see kind of a landscape kind of a, a pattern on here. The guitar has maple binding. Uh, it's a beautiful way of offsetting the rosewood with the cedar on the top. There's um, also wooden purfling as part of the binding and there's also some uh, uh, white decorative strip on the binding of the fingerboard uh, that is between the actual fingerboard and then the outside binding uh, which is also ebony. Now Loudons have found a lot of fans with fingerstyle players and uh, a guitar like this is a good example of why that is the case. The guitar is incredibly powerful <laughs> And yet rich, you'd be hard pressed to find a more powerful, louder guitar uh, if you're playing in unamplified situations, for example. And um, certainly the Madagascar Rosewood uh, does lend that really richness uh, to, to the tone. It's almost like there's some built-in reverb or something like that on this guitar.
a lovely balance and an incredible richness and complexity to the tone uh, that, that is just a joy to hear. So while Loudons are fantastic for playing fingerstyle, um, they are not limited to that. Particularly these large jumbos are used by a lot of players uh, who strum, who play Irish backup, uh, both in alternate and standard tunings. And uh, I've got a pick here now just to give you a little bit of a sense of the volume and the, and the richness that the guitar offers if you're playing, uh, say, more chordal style, uh, like this. <laughs> The guitar is incredibly loud. Uh, it has a great definition. Um, and if you're looking for a guitar to be heard in a session um, over lots of other stringed instruments, uh, this would be a great choice because it's just so powerful. We had to turn the gain down on our recording equipment here in the studio just to uh, kind of consider the, the volume and power of this instrument. Um, now, I've been in Dadgat tuning this whole time, and a lot of people um, associate Loudon guitars with dadgat and alternate tunings and of course that is uh, just because a lot of people play them in, in alternate tunings doesn't mean that they're limited to that I'm back in standard tuning now and um, there's of course no reason to feel like you have to play loud in, in alternate tuning so if I'm playing just some finger style material in standard tuning You would see, of course, that the same uh, balance and great response of the guitar uh, applies just as well to any tuning, as would be the case with most guitars. Uh, I'm, I'm not one to think that certain guitars are particularly well suited to alternate tunings and others, but there are guitars that just have a great richness and balance uh, that just makes them versatile uh, to use in all kinds of tunings and styles. Um, so this is a wonderful example. Um, it's really one of the, the nicest O-style Loudons that I've come across. Um, uh, it's almost regardless of the playing style that you would use it for. Uh, it, it's just going to offer a great voice, a great tone. And um, as part of the 35 series, it does offer that nice, clean look with the highest possible uh, great materials all around. And it is important to remember, of course, that if cedar and Madagascar rosewood isn't what you're particularly looking for, these 35 Loudons uh, can be had in just about any wood combination uh, that you can think of. And uh, Loudon will either have them available at their dealers or um, build one specifically uh, with custom configurations for you. So, uh, great guitar. Uh, this particular one was uh, provided to us by Griffin Stringed Instruments in Palo Alto, California. Um, you may be able to still check it out there. But of course, there are other guitars like that available at uh, their dealers, or you can go to the Loudon website and also check out some of the other Loudon guitars that we've had a chance to demonstrate here at PegheadNation.com. My name is Taylor Gurkin. We hope to see you soon.